Hello everyone, this is Showtime 112. The history of military aviation is full of great rivalries between fighter types. We had Sopwith Camel vs Fokker DR1 in First World War. This was followed by Spitfire vs Messerschmitt BF109 in the second. And F-86 Sabre vs MiG-15 in the Korean War. The one we will talk about today is the rivalry between F-4 Phantom and MiG-21. The American fighter was introduced to service in early 1960s, first by the US Navy and then quite unusually by the Air Force as well. A lesser known fact is that the Air Force initially designated the type as F-110 Spectre. They eventually accepted the name Phantom and the first variant produced for the US Air Force was F-4C. The new fighter soon saw combat when 45th Tactical Fighter Squadron operating from Yubon, Thailand started to fly missions over Vietnam. Phantom's rival, MiG-21, was a very different airplane. Its simplicity made it accessible to many small air forces, including North Vietnamese. Soviet Union agreed to supply MiG-21 to North Vietnam in February 1965 as a supplement to older MiG-17. The version used in the early phase of the Vietnam War was MiG-21 PFL. Just like the early versions of F-4 Phantom, this variant of MiG-21 also lacked an internal cannon. In this video, MiG-21 is represented by a later MiG-21 BIS, since early versions are not available in the platform we use for this reenactment. Before the great rivalry between MiG-21 and Phantom began, both types first saw combat against other opponents. During 1965 and early 1966, US Air Force and Navy Phantoms shot down several MiG-17s. North Vietnamese MiG-21s opened their account by shooting down an unmanned Firebee drone on 4 March 1966. This was the first official aerial victory for the North Vietnamese MiG-21s and it was credited to a future race, Nguyen Hong Ni. The first combat against the manned aircraft took place on 23rd April 1966, when two MiGs attacked a group of F-4Cs and F-105s. The MiGs carried R-3S missiles and unguided rockets, which they were unable to fire because they couldn't achieve correct launch parameters. One of the MiG pilots, Ng Dang Vin, had to eject because of damage to his hydraulic system and he landed safely. On that same day, two Phantoms from the 555th Tactical Fighter Squadron engaged two more MiG-21s. They attempted attacks with no less than six AIM-7 Sparrow and AIM-9 Sidewinder missiles, but without any success. This was a very typical situation that frustrated American pilots in their gunless Phantoms during the Vietnam War. Three days later, on 26 April 1966, three F-4C Phantoms from 35th Tactical Fighter Wing based at Da Nang, South Vietnam, took off on a high-value asset escort mission. They were protecting two RB-66 electronic warfare aircraft. One RB-66 and one Phantom split off for a separate mission, while two Phantoms remained with the other RB-66. Phantom leader was Major Paul Gilmore, with Lieutenant William Smith in the back seat. Northeast of Hanoi, they spotted two MiGs coming high in the 2 o'clock position and approaching rapidly. Gilmore and his wingman jettisoned their fuel tanks and broke into hard left descending turn, while the RB-66 departed the area. The two Vietnamese MiGs were flown by Nguyen Hong Nhi and Dong Vang Song, who took off from Noi Bai.
The Phantoms pulled out of their maneuver at 12,000 feet and then went after the MiGs which were at about 30,000 feet. They noticed the second MiG descending slowly but then lost sight of it. Gilmore achieved the lock-on, but instead of launching a Sparrow, he got a good Sidewinder tone at about 3,000 feet distance. He fired one of his AIM-9s, but then maneuvered to the left to gain more separation. As the result of this, he didn't see the effect of his attack. When Gilmore reacquired the MiG-21 visually, he attacked it again with his second Sidewinder. Gilmore's wingman was surprised by this move as he observed the Vietnamese pilot ejecting after the first attack, but problems with his radio prevented him from communicating this to his leader. Depending on the source, the first Sidewinder either hit the MiG or just passed close enough to it to make the pilot eject. Gilmore was now attacking a MiG without the pilot. To make matters worse, his second Sidewinder missed. Frustrated by this, Gilmore repeated the same maneuver and positioned himself for the third attack. This time the missile scored a direct hit. The two Phantoms then descended and watched the MiG impact the ground. But as they commenced their pull-up, Gilmore spotted another MiG-21 behind his wingman. He called for a defensive split and broke left and down, while his wingman broke right and up. Gilmore then sighted the MiG ahead of him, climbing away. He rolled behind it and fired his last Sidewinder. It missed, as the range was too close. The two Phantoms, now low on fuel, return home. The North Vietnamese pilot, Duang Hong Ni, who had previously achieved the first victory for MiG-21 over a Fire B drone, injured his spine in the ejection and was unable to fly for a while. He was shot down once more in 1968 and he again survived. He is officially credited with eight victories although only three of them, including the drone, are confirmed by US records.
This was the first time that an F4 Phantom achieved the victory over a MiG-21. The Soviet aircraft would soon start fighting back and the rivalry between the two types would continue in another part of the world, Middle East. Be sure to press the like button, join our Patreon supporters or donate on PayPal. Viewer support is probably the only thing which can keep this channel in business and I will be very grateful for your efforts. I would like to thank my buddy Anyat who helped me with this reenactment. If you want to participate in videos, join our Discord server or contact me on other social network channels. Thank you and keep watching Showtime 112.